You've probably seen the purple traps hanging in trees for the past several summers, trying to lure the emerald ash borer that over the past decade has been attacking and killing off billions of ash trees in 39 states and Canada. The small beetle was first detected in New York about five years ago, south of Buffalo, then the Hudson Valley and now the Albany area, prompting the state to restrict timber and firewood to try to slow its movement north to the Adirondacks in North Country. But it turns out the greatest threat to northern New York may be from just across the International Bridge in St. Lawrence River, where the emerald ash borer has already infested Cornwall, Ontario and neighboring Quebec. Montreal and other communities are cutting hundreds of thousands of ash trees to try to slow the spread. But many worry that for the North Country, it may only be a matter of time. Come already with the adhesive on. Tom Calarusso with the USDA is putting together a trap that he actually hopes won't work. Very sticky stuff. Hundreds, if not thousands, of these traps have yet to catch an emerald ash borer that would be drawn to its scent. So the good news is, yeah, we have not found it in, in northern New York. But with the beetle just a couple of miles away on the other side of the border and St. Lawrence River, Calarusso and tree specialists with the St. Regis Mohawk tribe worry their luck may be running out. So if it's been found in Cornwall, we're literally talking as the crow flies a few short miles from here. Yeah, two miles actually from where we stand. Is that too close for comfort? It is too close for comfort. It is only a matter of time, I believe. In areas like Racket Point, right near the Messina town line, where there are high concentrations of ash trees, forestry technician Satanta O'Kaley helps peel the bark from several trees. The trees react by giving off a chemical that's like a magnet to emerald ash borers that burrow under the bark and lay thousands of eggs. When they hatch, they feed on the tree, cutting off its circulation. Over time, they will multiply and literally starve this tree of its nutrients and it, and it will die. And while ash trees make up less than 10% of the trees in New York, in many North Country villages, the percentage is much higher. Unfortunately, the Dutch elm disease wiped out a lot of elm trees back in the 30s or 40s, and elm was one of the dominant street trees used in cities and towns and a lot of those trees were replaced by pure stands of ash. So a lot of these towns that replace their elm trees with ash are looking at replacing their ash trees as well. For the St. Regis Mohawks who live here on the Aquasasne Reservation, this is more than just an environmental threat. They're also worried what impact this may have on an important part of their culture and heritage. Basket makers are very concerned about it. That's because generations of Mohawks have used ash to make their native baskets, like this one, that the bride and groom give each other during their wedding ceremony. For our community in particular, it's very important because uh, black ash basketry has been a part of our uh, cultural uh, activities. It's been a part of our community for generations. There are no natural predators in the North Country, the Calarusso says a few species of tiny wasps seem to be effective in eradicating the pest. They feed on the larvae, and uh, it's, not, it's not a silver bullet, but it's, it's thought that it, it may slow down the populations. Pesticides can slow the beetles, but are expensive and only work for so long. The Mohawks who need ash to make their traditional baskets are now looking at planting a different species of tree called a Manchurian ash that comes from Asia and is resistant to the beetle. You can find a wealth of information on the spread of the emerald ash borer on our website at mountainlake.org.